All right, guys. So as we know, Mike Hoffman is now injured and he's going to be out of the lineup for a bit. And due to this reason, Uri Slavkovsky has been moved up to the second line with Christian Dvorak and Brendan Gallagher. We've been waiting for Slavkovsky to get bumped up the lineup for a while now. So it's very nice to see that it happened. It's unfortunate that it only happened because of an injury, but we'll take it. So if you haven't been following the Hab season so far, I'll sum you up what Slavkovsky has been going through and who he's been playing with. So he's been on the fourth line all season with a mix of Armia, Evans, Pazetta, Pitlick, and it took him a couple games until they finally gave him some power play time. It's only power, the second power play unit time, but that's still better than none. It gives him a lot more time with the puck on his stick and all of that stuff. But I see a lot of people kind of like complaining that he's with Gallagher and Dvorak. They're saying like they're not much better and this and that. Like guys, they're not going to shift all their lineups just because of one injury. And I wouldn't be complaining about Gallagher and Dvorak. They've actually been kind of decent these past couple games. They've even made Hoffman look good. Like it's been a solid line. There's not so like there's not that much that you can complain about. It's going to be better than Evans and Armia or Evans and Pozetta, you know, or Pitlick, all of those guys. It's going to be a better combination. It may not be forever. And I know you may rather him play with Monahan or this and that, but like I said, there's no point of butchering all the lines because of one injury. It just makes sense to bump Slavkovsky up into the one spot that's missing now. And to me, I'm very happy with it. He's going to get more ice time now. Second line compared to fourth is a big difference. He's still going to have his power play time too. And he's going to be playing with Gallagher and Dvorak. Say what you want about them not being the ideal line mates. But I personally think that compared to the beginning of the season to now, Dvorak and Gallagher have improved. I think they're starting to finally catch on to Marty St. Louis' regime and all of that. And just to say, combined between Gallagher and Dvorak is seven goals to none with the fourth line. The fourth line is none. I mean, Slavkovsky has three. I'm just saying without Slavkovsky, there's no goals. So that's a big difference. And that's not including the five goals that Mike Hoffman has on that second line too. So that means there's 12 goals on that second line. I'm pretty sure that's our second highest scoring lineup so i don't see why you guys are complaining there's goals that go in on that line there's points that go up on that line it's better than the fourth line you may think that it, it could be a better fit a better chemistry fit with monahan but if we're just saying raw player for player i'd prefer christian dvorak and brendan gallagher any day over a line with evans and armia say what you want but that's my opinion Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for my short little video today. I hope we get to see Slavkovsky on that lineup for a couple games, see how it fits. And yeah, let me know what you think about it. If you did enjoy the video, don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.